that was a nice music before i welcome you to another demo of open air interface this demo is on 5g core network deployment using docker compose before i start with the demo i would like to highlight the tutorial link mentioned below in the description the tutorial explains how to use oai 5g core network components amf smf nrf and upf how to deploy a 5g service based core network using docker compose Now who would be interested in this demo anyone who would like to use openair interface 5g core network components or be a part of our community and contribute in the demo i will be using developing solutions ds test as gnode b emulator and emulate a scenario of ue attach and attach it will be good if you are aware of 3gpp release 16 and docker and docker compose i will start by explaining the test bed There are two different host machines, DS test host and Docker compose host. In the Docker compose host, all the core network components are running and they are attached to the same demo OAI bridge. In the other machine, the DS test is deployed, though for this demo there is an extra container OAI external DN which is not needed in general de deployments. This container is used in the demo to simulate UE downlink traffic. Now I will start with the demo. To make the deployment of the core network more informative, we have created a wrapper around Docker and Docker Compose command. This wrapper script it checks that the core network is deployed in a particular order, and then it checks that the core network components are healthy and and it verifies in the end that the core network is properly configured. In the bottom, we are capturing the packets on uh, the Docker Compose host. and here you can see all the initial message exchange which happens between the core network components it's really important to capture these packets because here only you can see the message exchange which happens between sms and nrf and ups so that the sms can discover ups using the service discovery feature of the nrf now here the core network is ready and it's properly configured So before starting the DS test scenario I will log in into the external container which uh, which is created for uh, this particular demo So this external container is is being used here to check the UE downlink traffic Now we are in the container I'll start with the DS test scenario So the scenario is started the packets are getting exchanged between Gnode B and AMS So now I'll ping the UV. Okay, so we are able to ping the UV, and now we can see the code request respond messages which are getting exchanged. So to to verify that uh, that this particular IP address is allocated to the UV, it can be seen in the in the message logs. Since because here there is no Cortis UV, so we cannot see in the UV, and we can also see these messages. uh these uh this this message in the uh, oai smf logs in the smf logs you can see a lot of other information apart from uh, apart from the ue information and it's quite informative here we can see that the ip address which is allocated to the ue is 12.1.1.2 and now in the amf logs we can see the initial ue message and the messages which are exchanged between gnode b and the ams so now i'll stop the ds test scenario the scenario is stop now i'll delete the the core network components using the same script so in this in this demo we have used nrf but there is another possibility to do it without nrf without using the service registry and service discovery of nrf and this can be done using the no on no nrf command inside uh, in the script as an argument and for that you need to check the tutorial Now the Docker components are one by one getting stopped. 
So once they are stopped, it's done. Thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial and the demo. See you next time.